No. No, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, uh, no. This ain't show me the banana. Meaning- Hi. Is that in the middle? You know what? I think it might just be. I'm gonna zoom you in a tad just cause you can see me moving in the mirror and I know that's gonna irritate. Oh, guys, why is this lighting kind of snapping? Hi. Welcome back into another video. So, today's the day we are in fact sitting down to finally listen to, hence the title of this series, Pang by Miss Caroline Polachek. I did in fact listen to Daw. Ah, sorry Brittany about that. During listening to my subscribers' favourite songs, right? And I loved it. Adored it actually. I think it's a gorgeous song. Also, let me know if you want a part two to that series. I think I'm gonna do it anyway, but just let me know. It's nice to know, yeah? Now time to finally get into the rest of the album. I know quite a few of you have asked for this one, so hopefully you enjoy this video. If you're new here and you've not subscribed yet, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. It would mean the world. Uh, check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Spotify, or all the link down below. Check me out on Patreon. I'm also gonna be starting to do an exclusive podcast over my Patreon, so if that's something you're interested in, please. Please do check that out. It's gonna be really fun and I'm very excited about it. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So woohoo! 14 songs and it's 46 and a half minutes, so really decent length. I'm very excited. Let's get into the first track, The Gate. Are you playing or what? My Spotify stopped working. What is happening? Okay, I've got it working on my iPad. Let's do this. The Gate. It literally just worked. I think I might have got it working because it just worked twice in a row when it hasn't done that before. I might just have to listen to it through my phone so it's not gonna be too loud, but that's fine. You'll still be able to hear it, just not as loud as probably usual. The gate. Okay, we've got it. Hi, babes. See, I already know kind of what we're going to get with this fucking album. It's going to be like, ugh, production boots the house. It's going to be ethereal. She's going to have gorgeous vocals. Like, I'm ready for it. I'm absolutely ready, prepared, and raring to go. Straight out the gate. You see what I did there? Straight out the gate, she's hitting us with the gorgeous vocals and the very ethereal, soaring production. So I'm absolutely here for it. Now let's try and listen to what she's saying because I can't understand her right now. I don't know what she's saying. Wow! Gorgeous! Oh yeah, I'm so fucking ready for this. This is the music I literally adore. Like, in my spare time, like, I've got all the time in the world for this kind of music. So I'm... Mm-hmm. I feel good. Next track, track number two, Pang, the title track. What is Pang? I thought we were going to get into a bop then, actually. Maybe we are. No! I can, I can feel myself starting to build and starting to shout and get irate. Mm. I might have to re rewind a little bit just to hear that little um, break again. That took me a bit by surprise, I'm sure you could tell. That is, oh my fucking god, it's beautiful. I still don't understand what pang means. What is a pang? Oh, I'm glad I searched it, guys. I've done, guys, I've done some research. It says pang, a sudden sharp pain or painful emotion. Oh, I'm so glad I looked that up because that has really clarified things in my brain. Okay, makes so much more sense now. I just thought it was like a sound effect. Pang! Ooh, that's God. Okay, 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 bitch. I fucking hear you. I'm just gonna get the lyrics up. Why is it so hard to find lyrics these days? Jesus. There's a look in your eyes when you're hungry for me. It's a beautiful night cutting right where the sea should be. Into me, pang, and then I go. Into you, pang, then you go. So on and so forth. Tell me what you're afraid of. Tell me what night is made of. What can I not destroy for you? Colour the night electric. Get in me like a secret. 
Oh, I opened the door and you run through. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is so embarrassing. Oh, oh, please give us a breakdown and, and an outro. Please, 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 Caroline Polachek. Can we just talk about how fucking nice her name is to say? Caroline, Caroline Polachek. I think that is a brilliant name. Well done, Caroline. Oh, I'll take it, I'll take it. The vocal. The vocal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because she's got them, actually. She? She's got them. I remember, actually. She's got that song with Charlie XCX and she flexed in that track. Oh, guys, Pang, the title track. I can see why it was the title track. Really, really beautiful. My neighbour's just fucking yabbering on, so I thought I'd just shut my window. Okay, moving straight along into the next track, New Normal. Where are we going with this one then, Caroline? I will say, these are not the um, kind of sonics I expected walking into this reaction. I expected very ethereal, very like kind of Lana Del Rey-esque vibes. This obviously, like her vocals definitely do give ethereal, but She's a little bit experimental with some of these productions, so I'm, yeah, really enjoying it. I'm all here for an Eric's- uh, I'm all here for an Eric's- I'm, I'm not- I'm so shit at talking. Um, I'm all here for an experimental queen, absolutely. Oh, and the grindy, grindy noises. Yeah, massively into this production, let's just put it that way. Let's just go through, a f mm, through some lyrics. Now what is this feeling I know you from long ago? From deep in my past, I don't know why, why I trust you completely, but don't question it. Now what's this? Club closing early, the fog machine, the laser swirling, it's Halloween, I'm sorry for screaming, but I'm afraid I scare you completely. Oh, she's screaming at some fucker. Now what is this? But I love how every single line, every single verse, has started with now what is this? And it looks like we're just getting verses after verses after verses. Oh, she's fucking around with the structure of tracks, isn't she? Okay, honey. Oh, that vocal is... Yeah, she's really fucking around. She's really fucking around. Yay! Woo! I see why you guys were really adamant for me to listen to this one because this is everything I love in music, right? I love when they really give, us it, to, give it to us productionally, if that makes sense. Oh, Caroline, I see us having a great relationship, honey. Yes, I do. Guys, yeah, these lyrics are kind of deep. Now what's this Robin you rescued has broken wings, not, not broken long, you searched the room, someone yells from the garden, the orange cat finished what you started. Oh, we killed the fucking Robin, bastard cat. Now what's this skidding of tires, I hold my breath and you're running fast as the SUV smashes into the sidewalk and 911 won't answer the call. Like what? We're talking about all these horrific things. <laughs> New kind of normal. Oh, so she's saying like all those tragic things are kind of like the new kind of normal these days. Oh, let's not be so pessimistic. Oh, Caroline, Miss Polachek. Although I'm very much here for it. I think I'm going to be obsessed with this bitch. I really do. I'm calling it right now with three in and I already know I'm going to be obsessed. Next track, Hit Me Where It Hurts. Let's do it. <laughs> are we all hearing it? I'm not sure if you are actually because the volume's pretty low on my phone. But um the background vocals is where it's at. Okay. I will also add on to that. Like when she does give us like a vocal and a note, it's usually a a, a really um unique note. It's not necessarily like, just like a ah. It's like a ah. Like it's a, you, like a really unique way. And I love that. I love uniqueness. Nerve and talent. No. Oh my god. I'm really trying not to like go crazy crazy. Bullseye, dead end, moving target, carousel, carousel, baggage, claim it, promise one day you will hate me. But right now just ride it out, ride it out, ride it out. Honey, we're being very pessimistic and we're gonna need to turn that around, right? I'm very much look on the bright side of things, glass, it, glass is half full. Like listen to those background vocals. Ah! 
So these are the verses. I'm obsessed with the verses. I am obsessed. I'm obs actually no. I'm obsessed with the chorus. I'm I'm obsessed with the whole thing, right? But the verses are really smacking me on the ass. Wow! I was ready for that. Did you see me, guys? I fucking called that. I was ready to get it going. Oh, I was. And she's still going. And she's still going. Ooh, ooh, Caroline. Oh, oh. oh. I think that just flew into the next track because I, I really thought that was going to be going into like another breakdown and another chorus. But I think that flew, which it's kind of hard to tell because my Spotify's on like, like this like merge thing, so like it does connect songs like for the like last like couple of seconds of each song. So um, it's kind of hard to tell, but that sounded like it flew a little bit and ooh, guys, hit me where it hurts. Smash. I'm gonna try and not speak too much because I feel like you don't need me to. I feel like it's pretty evident what's going on in here. Because I do freak out pretty often throughout the track. So let's just cut it all a bit shorter, right? Let's stop gobbing so much. I'm sure some of you would like that. <laughs> anyway, loved Hit Me Where It Hurts for 4 for 4. Next track, I Give Up. Let's do it. Stop caring, stop caring. Oh, we're playing tittle tattle, guys. Because she's saying, when I stop caring, you stop caring. When I care less, and you care less than me. It's not going well, right? It's safe to say things are not going well. Wow. Wow. See, this is so different to what I was thinking. Oh my god. I'm so shook a little bit by this by this piece of work so far. In like the best way possible. Don't get me wrong, she is saving me vocals, which I did I did expect. And the production is stunning. It's just not the the kind of production I was expecting is my point. But oh my god! Like she, I feel like she's the queen of the unexpected so far, and that stuff gets me <sighs> shaking a little bit. It gets me going, it gets me quaking. As you, as you should. How, ca how far can you fall when you're already down? Yeah. We're in the shitter. And we're intensifying the production. Oh, and I heard that in the background. She gave us a scream then. She gave us a motherfucking scream in the background. Oh, God, guys. Hmm? Yeah, we're not talking. We're not talking. Oh, that was that was a fucking tease. Oh, but yeah, still love, still absolutely love. She's real good, isn't she? She's real, real good. Moving on. Look at me now. Oh, so I gathered from the last track that we're really at rock bottom. The relationship is really going to shit. And she's saying in this first verse. Said I'd never leave you, but here we are. I'm leaving, I'm chucking the deuces, I'm out of here. Right. Good for you, though. She said that she gave up in the last track. So there's no point even fucking trying if you're at that point and you're feeling so down. Because she said, how much further can you fall if you're already down? The answer is, you can't really go much further, right? So what is the point in even trying to get back up to where you were if he doesn't care and has proven that? Then chuck the deuces, see you later. I'm out the door. Okay, I tell you what, my brain. Wow, vocals. She's saying the person can't look at her anymore. And you can't look at me now, I haven't changed, I'm still the same, but you can't look at me now, a hand grenade to throw away. Oh, that's really sad. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm getting in my feelings. Ooh. Wow, I love this. God, she's gonna give us some belting at the end. Fuck. Caroline, you're really coming to kill me off, aren't you? Oh, and that was right at the end. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, guys, another one. Those lyrics were extremely, extremely sad. Okay, really, really quite sad. I'm doing everything I can possible to not get in my feelings, just in case she switch it, switches it up on her asses, right? Which I won't be surprised if she did, because she seems like that type of artist to really fuck me around. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I don't know what you want to say. Gorgeous track, another one. Another one. We're six for six, smashing it. Next track, Insomnia. Oh, don't get dark. I'm gonna be obsessed with this one. If we keep doing all this kind of vocal thing and the production sound real grungy and dark, I, I'm just warning you right now, I'm gonna be absolutely obsessed. And especially if she starts fucking taking it there with the vocals and really Going here, there, and you know, everywhere. Oh. No. No, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, uh, no. If you've noticed that I start faffing with my hair when I get stressed. Caroline, I'm really close to storming off set. <laughs> I am though. This is what she's doing to me. Oh my fucking God, and this in earphones. That's gonna be next level, that is. That was insane. And the way she's pronouncing every syllable. I can't handle. And she's taking it there now afterwards. Are we onto the bridge? Oh my God, we're onto the outro. It's almost over. Oh my God, no. No, no, no. But yeah. Fuck off! Fuck all the way off! I don't feel like I need to say anything. I don't, right? I just don't. But fuck! Big Fat Fuck, that's one of my favourite songs that I think I've ever reacted to on this channel. Like, the other one that comes to mind is Do Me by Kim Petras. Moving fucking on, right? Ocean of Tears. Lyrically, we're really, yet yeah, still down in the dumps, right? This better not, no, this better not turn into a bop. I'm not ready to bop now. If this is gonna be a transition song into maybe some bops, fine. But do not hit me with a bop right now. Mm-mm, no. Yeah, we're, yeah. We are bopping. It's a chill bop, don't get me wrong. Thankfully. But we are in fact bopping. Has she been training opera or something? Because fuck me! These notes are butter smooth. Buttery smooth, people. Oh my god. Oh, and don't do that with the production. No, 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 no. Production is gonna, yep, yeah, it's gonna do me in. Yes, it is. Oh god, who produced this? Let me look, let me look, let me look. Because whoever did it, Produced by A.G. A. Cook, Valley Girl, Danny L. Hal, and Caroline. Y'all did that collectively, right? Hey! Maybe I'm ready to bop. Let's read some of these lyrics, because I haven't. Oh my god, I wanna know what it feels like to pull you close and tangle up with you real tight. The only thing that's separating you and me tonight is an ocean of tears. So we've met someone new. Or are we on about the same person? I don't know. I can't lie, I do think we've met someone new. And I'm all here for it. I have never been this gobsmacked in my life, I don't think. Whoa. This bitch is underrated, let me tell you that. Let me tell you that right now. She's really underrated and it's just, it's just hit me that she is and it's getting to me. Because I think she's only got like one million month, I mean, don't get me wrong, a million monthly listeners is still really good. But she deserves so much more than that. What? Oh. That is insane to me. That's insane. Oh my god. That production as well, they did that with that track. The fucking production. Oh my god, I'm sweating a little bit. Moving on, next track. Hey Big Eyes. Interesting title. Hey Big Eyes. Love this part. Not, not sold on some parts of this track, I can't lie. So far, 
This is my favourite bit. Like, I don't think this is doing it for me, which is kind of sad. This is the first track I'm a bit iffy on. I just don't understand why we're calling someone Big Eyes. <laughs> hey, Big Eyes, can you swim? I don't know about that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't skip the song. I definitely would let it play and vibe to it, but I'm just not going to be seeking that one out. Moving on, next track, Go As A Dream. I will say, on Genius, because I'm flicking through Genius's pages for like lyrics and stuff, she's done like separate covers for all the songs. And I will just say I'm obsessed. Wow. They're all sickening. Okay, Sleepy Queen. Ha 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 ha. Do you know what it actually reminds me of? Have y'all seen it? Some of you might have. If you're under 18, don't watch it. Midsummer, do you know when the women are. If you've watched it, you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, I'm not going to put that clip in because I would get demonetized straight away. But um, that's what that's going to remind me of, I think. Uh. I just thought I'd pop in and say, because I'm sure it's getting an all yen, but I'm not able to keep like a lot of the audio in for some of these songs because some of them are so fucking similar all the way through. So like, I, there'd be, there would be no way on planet Earth that I wouldn't get copyrighted so that's why like for this one for example it's so similar all the way through so i can barely put any of it in so i'm sorry about that like what the fuck this is what i mean like those vocals like she loves to go pretty sharp up and then she'll like softly come back down but like it'll st like the first part of coming back down will be quick as well then like the end will be really like if if, if we're drawing you a chart that's what it'd look like oh, I I mean, straight up there. Wow! Wow. Guys, that one kind of put me in a trance low key. Like, when my eyes shut, I was really vibing to that then. <laughs> yeah, just really, really... Ooh. I think it was like the continuous ha, 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 ha in the background that was doing it for me. Next one, Caroline Shut Up. Oh, so we're really flipping the script now. So I'm assuming we did find someone new and we've really fallen hard for them. Because surely we're not talking about the same person we talked about towards the beginning of the fucking album where she's like, I've never been this low. Because now she's saying she fucking loves them too much. Oh, this production. I love the little ah, in the background. Yes. Wow. Oh, this is probably one of the most catchy ones, like, off the bat. Like, the Caroline shut up and the uh, better than right now is kind of, it's kind of snapping. Low key, look at me fucking singing. Production! <laughs> oh, we're spitting some facts, we're spitting some tea. Nah, 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 oh. Now you got me jealous and I'm not the jealous type. Spending all the cash that I'm saving up, lying in the bath made of a fountain of wine, looking like a god, you, you know you fucked me up. Oh, so is this not, is this person not good enough, good for us either? Oh, God. Nice, this bridge is gorge. And the vocals, ooh. She must have heard me. She must have heard me and said, Brad, you wanted vocals? <laughs> well, I'm not done yet, sis. Oh! She switched up the lyrics at the end. If tomorrow you want me, then I don't have a doubt that it gets even better than right now. Yay. Yeah, love, love. Yeah, it is, yeah, it's a good one. It's a real good one, absolutely. Really into it. Catchy. Like when I, when I probably finish this reaction, that's probably the one I'm gonna think about repeatedly in my head. Next track, So Hot You're Hurting My Feelings. I take it this is the most popular one from this album because it's, it's got like the most numbers and shit. All right. This is definitely more dance bop realness. Like this is definitely like more generic bop standards, I feel like. So I can, I, I um, that makes sense in my mind why like a more vast general audience would gravitate towards this one out of the rest of the album. Cause I feel like this one's probably the most generic sounding so far, which is not a bad thing. At all. I love myself some generic bo generic bops. 
everything. It's got like, the throwback 80s vibes. Oh, well, let's read some of, the, some of these lyrics. Not like I'm counting the days, but it's been, but it's been 25. You're out there killing the game, but damn, I miss you tonight. And I'm out to party that they're playing our song. I kind of done. I'm not sure where that cut off, but um, yeah, relatable, Caroline. Relatable. I'm sweating. Oh, I'm ready to really pop it. Come on, Caroline. She's saying, show me the banana. Meaning penis. Caroline. So hot, you're hurting my feelings. Yeah, that, I mean, that happens. That has happened to me plenty in the past. So I can absolutely relate to you on that one, Caroline, for sure. Very boppy, very generic bop vibes. Throwback 80s, 80s kind of thing. Always a plus in my book. I love the 80s, it's like my favorite era. Like literally from the 70s to the 90s, oh, peak of like everything. Fashion, wow. Yeah, so love it. Next track is Daw, a song I've heard. If you want to see my reaction, I'll link that video that I did. I listened to it in in the description. I'm not going to leave too much of it in this one. But also now, hearing this song again, doesn't that link to a different song that she said that like, I open the door and you're running through or something she said in an earlier track? I'm pretty sure she did, because I remember reading it out and thinking, oh, that's interesting. Let me know if I'm correct on that one. We love a little callback to our previous track. We really do. Guys, last track on this album, this masterpiece that has been this album, Parachute. Oh dear God. The vibes of this one are immaculate. I see this being another one that I'm gonna be obsessed with, just gonna throw it out there. It's like, it, sorry to pause again, it's a, it's the subtle production and like, kind of like, dark production, if that makes sense. And her gorgeous ass vocals on top of that. I've got to look at some lyrics. Awake from a dream, one that started as a nightmare. Like a wall so extreme, it erased itself from memory. Here's where I jumped from the aeroplane without questioning it. The curve of the coast of Los Angeles spreading itself below. And blooming overhead the parachute, I've got to trust it now, oh. Change in the wind and I'm drifting from the crescent. Pulled farther out from the shore than where I can swim to it. Oh fuck, she's being... Wow, this is painting a picture in my mind. This is a visual song, Jesus. I just did want to say also what came to mind when she was talking about dreams. Guys, is it possible for someone to um, have deja vu about a moment where they were getting deja vu? Does that make sense? Because that happened to me the other day laid in bed. I was laid in bed and I was having deja vu about another time I'd had deja vu when in bed. Does that make sense? <laughs> and like, interactive exercise, try and cast your mind back to a time where you had deja vu. Can you remember what it was? Can you remember what the deja vu was? Because I think the whole point of deja vu is that you can't remember it after you've had it again. Because I can't think of one, one time where I've had deja vu and been able to recall what it was when I had deja vu. So I just thought that was very weird. I, I shit you not, I'd think about the fact that I was getting deja vu then seconds later I'd forget and then I kept having it over and over, like I kept falling back into the cycle. It was kind of trippy, I can't lie, but I enjoyed myself. Sorry about that story time. Wow. Oh. My God. I was right to call this one. This one's definitely one I'm gonna bum. Who can do that? Wow. I masked that on that. Guys, I am absolutely obsessed with her. So I'm so glad you guys persisted with me and kept being like, where's the pang reaction? Where is it? We want it. So thank you for that. Oh my God. I feel like I've really gone through, through an experience right there, right? That, there was that one song that wasn't like to my taste as much as the rest, but that has not tainted my view on this album whatsoever. If anything, I'm probably sure that that song was gonna probably grow on me after this. Yeah, Caroline, you did that. 
Why am I always late to masterpieces? Oh my god. Anyway, I guess it makes for good content, right? Who knows? I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. If you hated this, don't let me know. Or do it nicely, right? But anyway, let me know your thoughts. Hopefully they're good, down in the comments. Let me know your favourite track from the album. I'd love to know that, okay? Yeah, check me out on Instagram, Twitter and Spotify, they'll all be linked down below. Check me out on Patreon too, that is also going to be linked down below. I'm going to be doing a exclusive podcast just for patrons over there soon, that's starting very soon. So if you haven't checked it out, check it out. Thank you to my current patrons, you guys are amazing, thanks for supporting the channel and thanks for being over there. And yeah, I'll be back soon with another video, until then love you guys, let's go, bye! Bye guys.